Joe Rogan has a hilarious idea to stop moronic wars that he'd like to share with us. Let's listen. We should fight no wars with anyone under 50. I think everybody who goes to war should be over 50. World peace. And let's see. Let's see how quick we fucking settle this thing. I bet it would be pretty goddamn quick. Oh. A bunch of old people that just don't want any trouble. I mean, I mean that, that it was like, how can we, is there a way to solve this without shooting them? It's like those feet on the ground. Like he was coming everything. at me. And it's like, okay, but shooting him to death is the only way to stop a guy from Every, coming at you? Because you think about yeah. the consequences Train of the decision. Officer. Think about the consequences of a decision to fly in a plane to a place where you've never been and shoot someone you've never known based on the directions by else. some people who you don't know yeah. who are making you march. They're making you go shum, 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 shum. Yeah. They're making you do all this shit, preparing you for You have to listen to them unquestionably. We gotta yeah. come no, home. But imagine that with 50 year olds. Yeah. It's never gonna no happen. Way. We're no, sleeping in the desert. We're, we're gonna no go, way. wait a minute, wait a minute. Why are we shooting these guys? Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're breaking down what door? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Who the fuck are you and where'd you go to school? Yeah. What's your degree in? And you're gonna tell me about international politics? Do you even know these fucking Sunnis? <laughs> What's the difference between a Sunni and a Shia, sir? <laughs> tell me what the difference is. Do you know? Do you know why these people are at war with each other? Do you know why they hate each other? Do you know why they hate us? Do you know this is Holy Land? Do you know how long this has been Holy Land? Do you know when they're and you, you if you had a group of fifty year old people go there and outslug it? Sit down, soldier, when I'm talking to you! Yeah. Oh, you're loud, so I have to listen? Is that what's going on? <laughs> oh, you don't yeah. have anything to say, so you're just going to loud. You gonna, are you going to get my face and spit? Is that going to make me intimidated? And so I'll listen. So I'll just go and kill some people that you say are bad. If we did that, if we just had only 50-year-olds and above go to war, the whole fucking thing would change. Yeah. The whole thing. It's just, it's easy to send fucking kids. They don't know any better. Now, obviously, he's being facetious with that point, but I think there's an underlying point, which he's completely correct about, which is that if somebody has life experience, and granted, nothing can, you know, substitute for the life experience, well, then they're going to be smarter, and they're not going to be willing to do a crazy thing, honestly, like go to war. And... Obviously, there's nothing you could ever do to make it so that it's only old people who go to war. So, I think the thing that we can use to substitute for that is, if you really had a great education system that taught people how to think properly and taught people historical facts, if you had that, if you had a good economy, and if you had opportunity for young men, then that that system in and of itself would make it so that people wouldn't want to go to war as much. I mean, it's such a sad thing, but the reality is that in a lot of poor communities, a lot of minority communities around the country, people view it as, it's my only way out to make a little bit of money and to do something with my life. And they really don't have many other options. So they do that and it brings them some meaning and it makes them feel like they're standing up for their country and... and uh, they're being virtuous and they're being noble. And then, of course, unfortunately, they don't know the fact, at least about the Iraq war, for example, where it's like, oh, yeah, no, on that one, we should have never went in in the first place. Saddam Hussein didn't attack us. Iraq had nothing to do with 9-11. So we invaded a sovereign country against international law. And, by the way, we ended up killing over 200,000 civilians. So my contention is if they all knew the facts, right, so if they were taught the facts, if they're taught how to think in school so they care about intellectual pursuits and they care about reason, and if they were, uh, you know, graduating into an economy that had all this opportunity, uh, that made it so that people can have a successful life and there's a good economy, then they would be much less likely to go to war. But of course, you can't even have this conversation without talking about the bigger issue which is the fact that the military-industrial complex makes it so that we churn out war for profit, so the entire culture is geared towards that. I mean, I guess that's the real problem. That's the deeper underlying problem.